In nature, greatness isn't defined by size. It's proven through strength, speed, and intelligence. Across four trials, we're about to push the limits of what ants can do. On a single rope, can they drag a cricket far heavier than themselves? At the table of honey, who finishes the feast first? And in the ultimate test of intelligence, can they outsmart deadly traps to rescue their queen and outwit rivals in a race for survival? This isn't just about challenges, it's the journey to reveal how ants rise, adapt, and outsmart the impossible. Welcome back to Ant Trek. And for the very first challenge, we'll see if the ants can unite their strength to drag a cricket across a fragile rope and tie the kuya adafandu waduro and prove the true power of teamwork. At the head of this kingdom is none other than the Queen Baby Maker, the ultimate VIP. Her job, cranking out citizens at lightning speed to expand her mighty empire. And the worker ants? Don't think they're just grunts standing guard at the gates. They are tactical bodyguards, always on high alert to protect the boss. When danger strikes, they launch a defense strategy like a special ops unit, ready to fight till their last breath. Curious about how they protect the queen? Drop a comment and Andrik will explain it to you. Kiribari Diversa is a super organized and species, famous for its massive army and incredibly smart battle, survival, and teamwork tactics. To prove this, Antric brings you the first challenge, lift or fall. I've got a fish tank set up and added a sheet of Formex inside. To secure this sheet, I've tightened it with four wires and sealed it with glue. So don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Next to me is another Formex sheet acting as a bridge, giving the ants a way to climb. The challenge is simple, if they can get past this, they'll get a secret prize. Can you guess what this is? But if they fail, well... The prey in this scenario is a cricket, weighing 1,000 times more than a worker Kiribara ant. But don't worry, these ants can totally handle it. Each ant can lift 50 times its body weight, and when the whole colony works together, even a giant cricket doesn't stand a chance. The worker ants quickly catch the scent of the prey and start climbing the bridge, looking down and assessing the position of the wire, skillfully moving across it. They may be small, but they're powerful. Fast, agile, and with waistline moves that are simply awe-inspiring, the whole colony swiftly moves up the bridge to the target. The cricket is soon surrounded by them, and they begin dragging it away. Oh, the glorious moment! Can a small wire really hold the entire colony and get the prey safely across? Wait, my ants have already lost half of them. Some have sacrificed themselves, while others are giving it their all. Each ant has its own role, but I'm still trying to understand how they coordinate. What did you notice about their teamwork? Drop a comment below and let me know. Did you spot that soldier ant? It's using its sharp jaws to bite the cricket's head, locking it in a life or death grip. What's amazing is that a soldier ant can be 500 times heavier than the smallest workers. This is a true warrior among tiny soldiers. Their jaws are super strong capable of lifting and dragging objects 50 to 100 times their own weight. But that's just what I've observed. Whether it's true or not, only this challenge will tell. Just a little bit more, everyone! We're nearly there! Fighting, everyone! And sure enough, one by one, they pull together, tightening the circle. Witnessing this, I can't help but be impressed. They're not only strong, but have more strategy than I ever imagined. They're all pushing to get the cricket up the bridge, but it seems they're struggling when trying to lift it onto the bridge surface. One, two, three! One, two, three! three. Oh no! And they fail the first challenge. Oh my god! But wait! Those ants that fell? They formed a floating raft. Can ants actually swim? What do you think caused this epic fail? Leave a comment to share your thoughts. For me, I think the height of the bridge made the challenge harder than expected, so I decided to lower it to be level with the tank's edge. Let's see if this gives them another shot to change their strategy and win. The prey is placed back and they're moving up again. One group is tasked with carrying the cricket, while the other is ready to help. We're ready to support! The colony surrounds the cricket. Ding, ding. 
Wow! Fortunately, they're still holding strong, carrying the cricket across to the other side of the bridge like total pros. Oh my god, what happened? Let's go! Everyone, keep it up and stay strong! We got this! But oh no, they've overexerted themselves and now the situation's tense. I decide to give them a third and final chance. They're rearranging their team, and I didn't expect them to switch up tactics that fast. And once again, like, the ants just totally swarmed that cricket, you know? Like, they're putting all their little ant powers together to drag that cricket across the bridge again. Our little ants have learned their lesson this time. They're being much more careful, and way fewer of them are falling off. How clever is that? This time, instead of grabbing the cricket like last time, the ants decided to switch things up and bring in a massive team of worker ants lined up on the rope to make sure they really held onto their prey. No one's slacking off. With a steady rhythm, they slowly moved across the bridge, and this time, no accidents like last time. Oh, what? Turns out, these ants are truly one of the smartest insects out there. They had already cut up the cricket into smaller pieces to lighten the load, then carefully transported it across the bridge. What a clever and formidable strategy. They totally deserve this victory. Oh, absolutely. Let's hustle and grab those hard-earned goodies that our team sweated buckets for. Do you think this reward is worth their hard work? Let us know in the comments. Just one last piece and done. After strength comes speed, a bowl of honey awaits. Who will devour it first and claim the title of the fastest? Compo notice Largiceps, Compo notice Iridans, Yellow Crazy Ant, and Carabar Diverser. Ever wondered which species is the ultimate foodie king? We're about to witness a one-of-a-kind showdown between these tiny but extremely hungry warriors. Over the next two hours, only one species will reign supreme as the foodie king. Who will win this battle of the stomachs? Opponent number one, big-headed ants. Former building king, check out that first group. Size-wise, Compo Notice Largiceps seems to have the edge. Shape, giant head, powerful jaws like steel pincers. Specialty, nest building, crushing food. Favorite food, honey, sweet, delicious, and nutritious. Can Compo Notice Largiceps both eat and show off its muscles? Or will it get distracted by another species? Opponent number two, Compo Notice Iridin's the most short-tempered warrior on Earth. They might look small, but they're aggressive as heck. Known for their temper, they're a fierce species that's always ready for a territorial defense. Iridans literally means irritating. Honey is their energy drink. Do you think Compo Notice Iridans has what it takes to be the champion? Or will its shirt temper cause it to lose focus on its meal? Opponent number three, Yellow Crazy Ant, the Insane Raiders. These ants move like they're on a mission to wreck everything in their path. They're quick, dangerous, and can destroy entire ecosystems. Food of choice, anything sweet, doesn't matter where it came from as long as it's edible. They're diving into the feast like a storm. Do you think their lightning fast eating speed will help them win? Or will they mess up their own strategy? Opponent number four, Carabar Diverser, the living tank of ants. Shape, the biggest size difference in the ant world. Soldier ants are huge, protecting the tiny workers. Specialty, soldier ants crush everything, guarding their teammates at all costs. Free food? You bet they won't pass that up. Can Carabar Diversa win both the eating race and the battle? Seems like all four of our teams are diving in for the food. When free food falls from the sky, which ant wouldn't rush in? Come place your baits on which team will win with me. Ready? The mandibles are grinding away at the food like machines. Which species do you think will win? If you were an ant, what strategy would you choose to speed up the whole colony? And who will be the king of the eating club? Time is ticking 30 minutes. One hour, two hours. Wow, I can already catch a glimpse of today's winning team on the horizon. Let's zoom in and get a closer look. Unbelievable. The honey bowl of Carabara Diverser is almost empty. Right behind them is Compo Notice Largiceps. 
This is so intense. Whose bowl is going to run dry first? Carabara Diverser or Compo Notice Largest Eps. And finally, Carabara has officially crossed the finish line first, while Compo Notice Largest Eps still has just a bit of honey left. Congratulations to our champion, Carabara Diverser. And now we enter the toughest stage of all, the Trial of Intelligence, made up of two battles, uniting to rescue their queen and outsmarting a cockroach in a race filled with obstacles. First, we begin with the rescue mission. Queen Rufups has been captured. Imprisoned in a fortified stronghold, she waits for her loyal and warriors to come to her rescue. They stand almost no chance of winning. To save their queen, the colony must face five deadly trials, where even the smallest mistake could cost them their entire army. There's only one way to find out. Let's begin. Welcome to Ant Trek. To succeed, the ants must conquer five increasingly difficult challenges. Let's get started. The first challenge, quicksand. In this trial, the ants must cross a vast quicksand pit and find the mechanism to unlock the next path. And just like that, the colony is separated. The other army took a long time to unlock the mechanism and enter the challenge. Look at them, they rushed in immediately and wasted no time attempting to conquer challenge no. After refueling, they immediately continued their journey. On the other side, the other group is getting closer to the first challenge. This time, they must break through a relentless horde of ferocious larvae, powerful and tireless. These stubborn larvae are putting up a tough fight, slowing the ants down. Stage 4, the most perilous challenge yet has arrived. The tiny ants are giving it their all. They are too many. How can we fight back? Hang in there, soldier! Our queen are waiting for us! They charge in without hesitation to rescue their comrades. Amidst the chaos, another door has opened. The story of the Rufup's greatest rescue mission comes to an end. A journey filled with trials, but crowned with a glorious victory. But intelligence isn't only about saving the queen. Now it's time to prove it on the battlefield of speed. Welcome to the speed running competition. This is a giant racetrack with difficult obstacles accompanied by very attractive rewards. And here, are the two contestants participating in this competition. On the red side is Josh, a persistent and strong ant. On the other side is Frank, a cockroach with unparalleled speed. For him, victory is within reach. Who will be the ultimate winner? This historic race will start in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Both contestants are starting quite cautiously. They have entered the first obstacle, running zigzag. These giant walls in front could mislead our two contestants. Let's see. Look! Josh has really gotten lost. He is standing still and trying to figure out his direction. Uh-oh, Frank starts to accelerate. He is too fast. This obstacle cannot hinder his steps. By clinging to the wall to determine the running direction, Frank has accelerated and taken the lead. In front of Frank now is the endless desert the second obstacle of the race. I think he will easily overcome it. Meanwhile, I'm really worried for Josh. The distance now is very big. 
his chance of winning is really slim. At the front of the desert, Frank took just a second to gather his spirit and then immediately ran across. Incredible speed! The sand was left behind effortlessly. Next is the slippery slope. A slope covered with sand. Traction and speed are needed to overcome this obstacle. Even with just one missing element, it would be impossible to get past it. Oh man, I'm thinking too much. Is this even a challenge? Oh my gosh! What is he doing? Sleeping in a race? Truly reckless. How about Josh? Hasn't he moved yet? Here it is. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Josh has overcome the obstacle and immediately stepped into the desert. His steps are slow, but very steady. I see no hesitance at all. What about the bridge? He climbed up already. The rest is too simple. Beat that cocky Frank. Oh, Josh, are you afraid of heights? <laughs> Look at him, spinning around in confusion so adorably. Slide down, buddy. That's right. On to the next stage. How about Frank? He's moving again. Turns out he wasn't really sleeping at all. He uses unbelievable speed again to reach the next stage. The next stage is full of rubble. I really don't think it will hinder Frank though. I knew it. Just a simple takeoff. <laughs> Lazy again. Wish he would pay for this behavior. Josh is still diligently moving forward. Frank's strategy doesn't seem to affect Josh one bit. He overcomes this challenge very steadily. Probably because it's not high enough. <laughs> when Josh crosses the rubble, Frank dashes off from his fake nap. They almost enter the final obstacle side by side. But with the current speed, Josh is at a great disadvantage. Everything depends on the final obstacle, the water puddle. The general fear of insects. In this stage, everything depends on courage. Frank stops. He's scared. Josh arrives a little later and also stops. Who? Who will be able to overcome their fear? Who will reach the finish line first? Josh is moving. He's overcoming his fear, trembling, but unyielding. Almost there. Keep going, Josh. How about Frank? He's moving too, moving faster, but Josh is taking the lead. Josh or Frank? The gate drops. It drops down, ending Frank's journey. The ultimate winner is Josh. With endurance, resilience, and courage, Josh deserves infinite glory and his reward. A beautiful ending for all tireless efforts. Hit that like button and subscribe right away if you enjoyed this video so we can create even better videos that you won't want to miss out on. Check out this video for more, and I'll see you in the next one.